Isaiah chapter 10. Oi to unjust legislatures. Oi to those enacting unjust decrees and recording corrupt legislation to deprive the helpless of justice and rob the rights of the poor of my people so that widows may be their spoil and orphans their prey. What will you do in the day of visitation when desolation comes from afar? To whom will you flee for for help? Where will you leave your wealth? One can only crouch among the captives or collapse among the slain, for all his anger is not turned away, yet his hand is still outstretched. Oi to Assyria, the rod of my anger, the club in their hand is my indignation. I am sending it against an ungodly nation and against the people of my fury. I am commissioning it to take spoil and plunder, to trample them down like mud in the streets. But that is not what Assyria intends, nor is that what he is thinking about, whether his heart is to destroy and to cut down nations, only a few. For he says, aren't all my princes kings? Isn't Kano like Karchemish? Isn't Hamath like Arpad? Isn't Samaria like Damascus? As my hand has reached the kingdoms of the idols, the more graven images in Jerusalem and Samaria, as I've done to Samaria and her idols, won't I also do to Jerusalem and her idols? Therefore it will come to pass, when Adonai finishes all his work in Mount Zion and on Jerusalem, I will punish the fruit of the arrogant king of the heart of the king of Assyria and the glory and eyes of glory and of his haughty eyes for he said by the strength of my own hand I've done it and my own wisdom for I'm shrewd I abolished the borders of the people and plundered their treasures as a mighty one I cast down inhabitants my hand found the riches of the peoples as a nest like gathering forsaken eggs I have gathered the entire earth not a wing fluttered not a beak opened or chirped should the axe boast against the one who chops with it should she saw magnify should the saw magnify itself against the one who wields it it would be like a rod waving the one who lifts it or like a staff hoisting up the one who is not wood therefore will the lord adonai zavat lend leanness among his fat ones under its glory he will kindle a burning like a blazing fire so the light of israel will come become <laughs> oh excuse me um, so the light of Israel will become a fire, and its holy one a flame. He will burn and consume its thorns and its briars in one day. Both his glory, but with the glory of his forests and his fruitful field, he will consume both soul and body. It will be like a sick man wasting away. The remnant of the trees of his forest will be so few. A child could record them. A remnant will return. Yet it will become come about that in that day that the remnant of Israel, those of the house of Jacob who escaped, will never again depend on the one who struck them down, but will depend upon Adonai, the one of Israel, the Holy One of Israel in truth. A remnant will return, even the remnant of Jacob to the mighty God. For though your people, O Israel, be as the sand of the sea, only a remnant of them will return. Destruction has been decreed, justice overflows, for complete destruction is decreed. Will Adonai Elohi Zavat make throughout the whole land? Therefore thus says Adonai Elohi Zavat, O oh, my people dwelling in Zion, do not be afraid of Assyria, though he strike you with the war club and lift up his rod against you as Egypt did. For in a very little while, my indignation against you will be spent and my anger will turn to their destruction. Adonai Zavat will stir up against him a scourge, as in the slaughter of Midian at the rock of the Oreb, as his staff was over the sea, so will he lift it up as he did in Egypt. In that day his burden will be taken off your shoulders and his yoke off your neck. Indeed, the yoke will be broken because of fatness. Assyria events advancing. He has come to I Aath and passed through Migron at Michmas. He deposited his supplies. They have crossed over the pass. They have taken up lodging at Giba. Ramah is terrified. Gibeah's shawl has fled. Shriek your cry, daughter of Galim. Listen, O Laish. O poor Anathoth. Madmanah has fled. The inhabitants of Gibeam take cover. This very day he will halt at Nob. He shakes his fist at the mountain of the daughters of Zion, the hill of Jerusalem. Behold, the Lord, Adonai Zavat, will loop off the branches of terror, so the tall ones will be cut down and the lofty ones laid low. Yes, he will hack down the thickets of the forest with iron, and Lebanon with its majesty will fall. Isaiah chapter 11, the branch from David. Then a shoot will come forth out of the stem of Jesse, and a branch will bear fruit out of his roots. The Ruach of Adonai will rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and insight, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge, and the fear of Adonai. His delight will be in the fear of Adonai. He will not judge by what his eyes see, nor decide by what his eyes hear. But with righteousness he will judge the poor and decide with fairness for the poor of the land. He will strike the land with the rod of his mouth and with the breath of his lips. He will slay the wicked. Also righteousness will be the belt around his loins and faithfulness the belt around his waist. Messianic Age of Shalom.
The wolf will dwell with the lamb, the leopard will lie down with the kid, the calf and the young lion and the yearling together, and a little child will lead them, the cow and the bear will graze. Their young ones lie down together, and the lion will eat straw like an ox, and nursing child will play by a cobra's hole, and a weaned child will put his hands on a leper's den. They will not hurt or destroy in all my holy mountain, for all the earth will be full of the knowledge of Adonai as the waters cover the sea. Second Return of Diaspora it will also come about in that day that the rod of Jesse will stand as a banner for the peoples, the nations will seek for him, and his resting place will be glorious. It will also come about that day that my Lord will again redeem a second time with his hand the remnant of his people who remain from Assyria, from Egypt, from Pathros, from Cush, Elam, Shinar, Hamath, and from the islands of the sea. He will lift up a banner for the nations and assemble the dispersed of Israel and gather the scattered of Judah from the four corners of the earth. Ephraim's envy will end. Those hostile to Judah will be cut off. Ephraim will not be jealous of Judah, and Judah will not harass Ephraim. They will swoop down over the from the Philistine slope to the west. Together they will plunder the children of the east, so laying on their hand to Edom, on Edom and Moab, the children of Ammon, obeying them. Then Adonai will dry up the gulf of the Egyptian sea. He will wave his hand over the river with his scorching wind and will strike down it, strike it down into seven streams and let man walk over in sandals. So there will be a highway for the remnant of his people who remain from Assyria as there was for the day for Israel in the day that they came out of the land of Egypt. Isaiah chapter 12 wells of salvation in that day you will say <clears throat> i will give thanks i will give you thanks adonai for though you were angry with me your anger is turned away and you comfort me behold god is my salvation i will trust and not be afraid for the lord adonai is my strength and my song he also has become my salvation he with joy you will draw near you will draw water from the wells of salvation, and that day you will say, Give thanks to Adonai, proclaim his name, declare his works to the people so they remember his exalted name. Sing to Adonai, for he has done gloriously. Let this be known to all the earth. Cry out and shout, and happen to Zion, for great is your midst, is the Holy One of Israel. Chapter 13, End of Babylon in the World The burden of Babylon, which Isaiah, son of Amos, the son of Amos, saw, Lift up a banner on a bare mountain, or raise a voice to them, wave a hand so that they may enter the gates of the nobles. I have commanded my consecrated ones, yes, I have called my mighty ones, my proud exulting ones for my fury, a sound of tumult in the mountains, like that of many peoples, a sound of uproaring kingdoms of nations gathered. Adonai Zavat is mustering the army of Beth for battle. They are coming from afar from the end of the heavens, Adonai and the weapons of his wrath to destroy the whole land. Will for the day of Adonai is near. It will come as a destruction from Shaddai. Therefore all hands will fall limp and every man's heart will melt. They will be terrified. Pain and anguish will take a hold of them. They will writhe as a woman in labor. They will look against aghast at one another, their faces aflame. Behold the day of Adonai comes, cruel, full of wrath and fierce fury, to make an earth to make the earth a desolation and destroy its sinners from it. For the stars of heavens and their constellations will not give their light. The rising sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. I will punish the world for evil and the wicked for their iniquity. I will put to an end to the arrogance of the proud and the ab base of the of the insolence of tyrants i will make people scarcer than gold even the pure gold of ophir therefore i will make heaven tremble and the earth will shake from its place at the wrath of adonai zavat in the day of his fiery f fierce fury it will be like a haunted a hunted gazelle or like sheep with no one gathering each will flee to his own country everyone found will be thrust through. Everyone caught will fall by the sword. Their babes will be dashed in pieces before their eyes. Their house will be plundered and their wives ravished. Behold, I will stir up against them the middies who would not value silver and will take no delight in gold. Their bowels will cut down the young men with no pity on the fruit of their womb, nor will their eyes fear children. So Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldean pride, will be just as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. It will never be inhabited, nor will be dwelt in from generation to generation, nor will an Arab pitch tent there, nor will shepherds let flocks lie there, but desert creatures will lie there. Their houses will be full of owls, ostriches will dwell there, and goat demons will dance there. Hyenas will howl in their citadels, and jackals in their pleasant places. Her time is near to come and her days will not drag on. Isaiah chapter 14, God's people restored. For I will have compassion on Jacob and will again choose Israel and settle them in their own land. The outsider will join himself with them and will cling to the house of Jacob. The peoples will take them and escort them to their place. The house of Israel will possess them in the land of Adonai as servants and handmaids. They will take their captors captive and rule over their oppressors. Taunt against Babylon's king. Know in the day, 
And I and I will give you rest from your sorrow and your turmoil. And from the hard service you are forced to do, you will take up this taunt against the king of Babylon and say, How the taskmaster has ceased, the raging oppressor, exactor of gold has ceased. Adonai has broken the rod of the wicked, the scepter of the rulers, which struck the people in wrath with continual strokes, which, led, which ruled the nations in fury. The relentless persecution. The whole earth is at rest and quiet. They break forth with a ringing cry. Even the cypress trees rejoice over you, along with the cedars of Lebanon, the you were laid low. No woodcutter comes up against it. Sheol from below is excited about you to meet you at your coming. He stirs up the dead spirits for you, even chief ones of the earth. He makes all the kings of the nations rise up from their thrones. They all answer and say to you, even you have become as weak as us, have you become like us. Your pomp is brought down to Sheol with the music of your harps. Maggots are spread out under you and worms cover you. Shining one fallen from heaven. How you have fallen from heaven, O bright star, son of dawn. How you are cut to the earth, you who made the nations prostrate. You said in your heart, I will ascend to heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit upon the mount of meeting in the uttermost parts of the north. I will ascend above the high places of the clouds. I will make myself like Elion. Yet you will be brought down to Sheol, to the lowest parts of the pit. Those who you will see, who see you will stare at you, reflecting on what has become of you. Is this the one who shook the earth, who made kingdoms tremble, who made the world a wilderness and destroyed its cities, who never opened the house of his prisoners? All the kings of the nations, all of them lie in glory, each in his own house. But you were cast out of your tomb as a discarded branch, garment of the slain, pierced with a sword, dumped into a stony pit, a corpse trodden underfoot. You will not join with them in the burial because you ruined your land. You slaughtered your own people, the offspring of evildoers you will never be named. Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, so they would not rise up and possess the land, or fill the face of the earth with cities. For I will rise up against them, it is a declaration of Adonai Zavat, and I will cut them off from Babylon, name and remnant, offshoot and offspring, declares Adonai. I will also make it a possession for the porcupine, with marshes of water, and I will sweep it away with the broom of destruction, it is a declaration of Adonai Zavat. Adonai Zavat has sworn, saying, Surely as I thought, so it will be. As I have purposed, so it will stand. I will break Assyria in my hand, in my land, on the mountains I will trample him. Then his yoke will be taken off them. His burden removed from the shoulder. There is a purpose planned for the whole earth. And this is the hand that is stretched out over all the nations. For Adonai Zavat has purposed, so who will annul it? Since his hand is stretched out, who will turn it back? Doom of Felicia. In the year of King Ahaz died, came this burden. Do not rejoice, all you of Felicia, that the rod has struck you is broken. For from the serpent's root comes a vi viper, and its fruit will be a fine serpent. The firstborn of the poor will feed, and the needy will lie down in safety. I will kill your root with famine, and your survivors will be slain. Wall, wail, O gate, cry, O city, melt away all you Philista, Philistia. For smoke is coming from the north, and there is no straggler in its ranks. What will they answer the messengers of the nation? For Adonai has found Zion, and the afflicted of his people will find refuge in her.